Okay. So uh, here we're about to do a Wolf Kishner reduction. Uh, you can see here we've made the hydrozone, right? We had a ketone, right? We had a ketone and we reacted with hydrazine, okay? So we've made the hydrozone here. And what we're, do what we're doing is reducing it to just the alkane, right? So you can see here, it's just an alkane, right? And where that, well, ketone was prior, right? So where did this come from? This came from this molecule. Like that, right? So where the ketone was prior, we've now fully reduced it, right? We've got these two H's here. Okay? So this is a two-step process. We had to make the hydrazone first from hydrazine and acid, okay? So we've gone over that mechanism before. If you don't remember it, go back and look. So uh, I'm going to go over this mechanism now, so I'm going to erase this part here, okay? So of course, the active ingredient in this little setup here is the hydroxide anion, right? So the other thing is, let's put our electrons, draw our hydrogens out. Okay. So we've got this hydrogen, and we're going to react it with potassium hydroxide. Good base, right? Um, so it's going to look for an acidic proton. So you can think of this in a couple of ways. Okay, let's just do it step by step so you guys can see it step by step. So when you do that, well, I guess we can start. So now, you've got the negative charge on that nitrogen there, and of course you've made water. But this also has a resonance structure where you can take these electrons, move them here. Okay. When you do that, you make that double bond, and these electrons move there. Okay. Again, this is a resonance structure. This is not a. These aren't reactionaries, right? This is actually not a very major resonance contributor because the negative charge is on carbon here. Okay, not very cool. But it does happen. And what will happen is once that happens, it'll see the water. And of course, there's water in here, right? The potassium hydroxide is um, dissolved in the water. So it'll find a water molecule. When it gets here, It'll deprotonate that water molecule, okay. reforming the hydroxide, of course. And that adds that first proton. Everybody cool with that? So it only will occur 
in that resonance? Uh, so resonance, these are the same thing, guys. Remember, they just shift and back and well. No, that's equilibrium. It's the same thing. Neither one of these is the true structure. It's some. It's it's a hybrid of both of them. Okay, you guys know this from it's like the first thing you learned in organic. Okay, it's not in equilibrium. So what's going to happen here, in fact, is the driving force of the reaction. Okay, so you're going to make a very stable molecule. Okay, nitrogen being that molecule. You're going to have the hydroxide again deprotonate the acidic hydrogen there. This bond is going to come over here, make that triple bond of nitrogen, N2 that is. And then these electrons are going to come here, down onto that carbon. So again, if you want to, you can write minus N2. So there's a variety of ways to write that you've lost nitrogen. You can show it like that. Usually, you want to show all molecules that you're making and uh, reacting in the mechanism. Though. So ideally, what I would prefer you to show is write the nitrogen molecule out, right? And then put your little arrow like that. Why? Because it's going to bubble away. Okay. So what do we make there? We make that carbanion, right? Can you still see this? Let's do it. There's more than just one water molecule in here. Okay. Not to mention the starting material has an acidic proton. Okay. So just draw this with enough room so we can draw another water molecule. It's gonna deprotonate. Why? Because carbon hates to have that negative charge. Bad, bad, bad. Okay? And when that happens, I'm going to draw it over here so I don't have to keep bending over. We're going to make our final product, right? So that's the alkane that we were looking for, right? So um, plus, of course, we're going to regenerate the basic catalyst, okay? So, um, this is called the Wolf. Let's see if I can spell this right. Kishner, K I S C H N E R. Okay. It's easier to do the mechanism than to write the name. Okay. So, are there any questions on this? So, notice the driving force again. It's a lot of these reactions you've noticed, hopefully, you've noticed the driving force is making these small, stable molecules. Okay, that's, you know, what organic chemistry is, you know, what you're trying to do is make these reactions happen by making other stable molecules, okay? Questions? Can I kill it?